All right, so here's the Doge Mini Miner. Uh, the first batch, or the first one that I got, I think from the second batch. Hasn't been powered on for a few days, so I was gonna demonstrate the uh, difficulty that I'm having with getting this to connect. I already have a second one, the Voss coin, that's operational, fully operational, uh, no problems whatsoever. So let's see what this does. There you go, plugged it in. Got a green light, some network cables. So now I'm going to check to see what type of client connection I got on my network. Go ahead and refresh it real fast and see if this gets an IP address. And let's see. Go ahead and stop this and we'll see what we got. All right, still not getting an IP address. Um, however, the um, the power connector is red, but let me go ahead and push this button. This is what I was instructed to do by Adam. Just kind of hold this down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of it, and then let's see. So. Uh, See if you get anything out of that. Again, that's that little button right in here. I was instructed to press that for 10 seconds to see if that would reset the device to factory settings. So again, I pressed the um, factory reset button for 10 seconds, got nothing. Still have a green power light, um, but one thing I did notice is that there are fan blades that are not spinning. And unlike this one, fan blades are going. I mean, those things are pushing out air. I can feel the heat coming out of this one. This one works great. This one, not so much. So, again, looking to see if I can get some help with this. See if I can go ahead and press this down one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's supposed to factory reset it. I don't see any lights coming on or anything like that. And nothing going on with the fans. Still not moving. Yeah, there they are. You can see they're just sitting there. All right.